Welcome to WorshipTutorials.com. Oh, that was nice. You may have seen the McPherson carbon fiber sable guitar on the channel in playthrough. That's it right there. In playthrough videos, uh, we did a review video of it, uh, whatnot. It is a fantastic acoustic guitar that it sounds uh, amazing. Well, McPherson has two carbon fiber guitars in their line. That's the sable. This is the touring. Look at this little thing. Look at this cute little it's thing, so Bradford. <laughs> this is a three-quarter size uh, acoustic guitar that sounds awesome. It and does so, not sound three-quarter size. No. McPherson sent this to us uh, to give away. And so McPherson is giving that this away. Right. Yeah, that's right. So if the video is just now being published, the giveaway is either happening or going to happen uh, very, very soon. We can start by saying this yes. right out the gate. The only difference, it's a wee bit smaller. Yes. Because it, it is very similar to impressive. its counterpart. Yeah, well, look, first of all, let's just get a little yeah, size comparison go. going on. So this is how different they are as far as size goes. So I think both of us are holding, they're about at the same level about there, yeah. on the bottom. And then you can see that this thing is quite a bit smaller. And you'll be hearing some sound samples from it uh, throughout this video. I didn't play it when we visited McPherson, but you played it. I did. In Wisconsin. And I remember thinking like that this thing this little guitar sounds impressively big. Yeah. It's not pretty cool. It's not quite as ginormous in sound as that. Right. But it's not very far off. Yeah. It's so very similar. It actually reminds me, I was saying this to somebody the other day, it reminds me of going from like a dreadnought style guitar to like a double O style, like a small body. This does have like a small body guitar kind of vibe, like a very mid-ranged focused tone. It sounds really nice, as you're going to be hearing throughout the uh, the video. But the the what you get with this is a lot the same as what you get with the the full fat brother over there, the, the full size guy. <laughs> it's the same level quality of construction, same materials. I really like this is an example of what McPherson can do. And this is like a beveled edge across the top. And underneath the top, that like, gets beveled away to, to reveal a white layer, mm -hmm. which looks like binding. It's really cool. I think it looks really classy. Mm. And uh, it's also uh, on the on the headstock as well. This one features uh, black hardware, while that one features gold hardware. So who would this be for? That's the question. Well, it could be for anybody. 
Right, it could be for anybody, but but they, it could be for you they, if you win it. That's right. It could be for you if you win it exactly. But they call it touring, I believe, for a reason. Right, and and they've they've designed this guitar for musicians who travel a lot. Mm-hmm. So first of all, its carbon fiber construction makes it impervious to any travel, pretty much like anything, weather, anything like that. Like it's we talked about this at length in the last in the. Um, in the Sable review, but like the fact that this is completely carbon fiber, like it's never going to move. So if you're having to throw this thing under a plane, oh yeah, yeah, you wouldn't... yeah people should be careful with your guitar, yeah. but uh, the, not the weather it. change is not yeah. going to be nearly as an issue as you, as you may see with a wood guitar or anything. So. Yeah. And it's, and it's the same, like, I mean, you get the cantilevered neck, the offset sound hole, like the whole design, the whole McPherson package. Basically, in this, the, the, the neck profile is pretty much identical, I, I think. Mm-hmm. It feels, it. the only difference is the scale length to me in playing it. The way it plays, yeah. It feels about the same, minus the fact that it's, mm-hmm. you know, obviously smaller frets because it's a smaller guitar, but it's... Yeah. So if you're a person who's really looking for a very, very high quality travel guitar, something where, and especially for travel, like if you're going from different climates, it's not ever going to be an issue. This thing is absolutely perfect. And uh, one cool thing that McPherson does when you buy this guitar from uh, from them or from a dealer is you get a hard shell case that fits this thing and you get a very high quality gig bag. They really do have like a traveling musician in mind yeah. with, with this guitar. Or somebody who just wants a smaller body. I believe they yeah. said one of the guys from Florida Georgia Line yeah, got, they gave it to got, him. Got a hold of one of these, and he like them. They just, planted in the tour bus. He, yeah, and then he just started using it for at least that show or something. Like, yeah, he used like the whole night, the and he just like loves yeah. using it. So like, it's not merely like you can only use this guitar if you travel. Like, it's not that, but right. that's part of the goal with it. It's sweet. I actually own a smaller body guitar. That's just what mm-hmm. I prefer, anyways. I don't know why. I mean, I like the big dreadnought style too, but that's actually what I settled on. Yeah. So. So if you want to learn more about the McPherson carbon fiber line, there's a link below to our, our review of the Sable, the full size uh, guitar. You know, in conclusion, I'll say this: I've seen it asked a lot on like the internet, you know, web forums and and Facebook groups and things. What is a good travel size guitar? Because there are there are not that many options out there. Taylor makes one like the Baby Taylor. Martin makes a little one like the Backpacker. But the the feedback that I've seen from all of them is like, really what you're buying is the convenience of size because yeah. they don't none of them very, sound very good. Isn't there one where like it kind of looks like a broomstick because of the way they make? Yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's like I forget Body's which one like that is, but it's like a little. It's just like a little stick. Yeah, it looks like a broomstick. It's weird. Yeah, and so <laughs> you're always on all of those models that I've experienced, and I've played a few like in a guitar. Yeah, I've so played one. You never. It's like you never buy it for the way it sounds. It's like, bizarre. If you're gonna get one, it's only because it's little and you can take it with you. It's more it, for the idea of playing guitar, but, not for needing yeah, a good one. But the thing about this is, it sounds really, really good. Oh yeah. What you're hearing in the samples in this video, it sounds exceptionally good, and you get the convenient size for uh, if you're looking for something for traveling or that kind of thing, or just something to have. You know, another thing that's great about it is like, if you want something just to have around in your living room, just to play on the couch and stuff, like this thing is, it's nice. It's very nice. So check out McPherson Guitars, links below uh, to, to learn more about this guitar. Again, to see our full review of the Sable. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.